Thank you, Madam Toastmaster. And um, hello to all the cute little babies in the room. And everyone that used to be a cute little baby. <laughs> what about me? I've <laughs> uh, not seen your baby picture yet. It's great to, to be an evaluator because you actually can see, uh, can use your notes. You can look at your notes and no one has anything to say about that. So I was um, interested that Matt had notes. When he started his speech, he had notes and he was referring to them quite a bit. However, as his speech went on, he, he looked at them less and less. So I thought that was good. His, his strong points was that he, he seems to be a natural speaker. He was very comfortable uh, in front of the audience. Except that I think he may have possibly could have had a glass of water before he came up here because he seemed just a tiny bit dry. Of course, it's clear that the more the speech matters, the harder it is to get. And he touched on that with his speaking before it mattered, when he was speaking before his sports clubs and just naturally speaking. And then all of a sudden, it's a career matter, he freezes up. That's a, a natural a thing because when it's important to us, we start to think of the reality of freezing, the reality of, of making a bad presentation, and it makes us very nervous. It was um, interesting to hear about his wife escaping from the Khmer Rouge. I hope that wasn't too um, scary an experience for her. And I think that he did um, have adequate preparation for the speech. In fact. 18 minutes, that would have been a, a serious uh, <laughs> overrun here at our short meeting. The, um, did, he did talk clearly and audibly, of course. It had a definite opening and a definite body and a definite co conclusion. It was very good that way. The use of notes I've already commented on. Um, I think if you'd spin just a bit looser physically, it would have given your presentation a bit of, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Yes, I know, um was not in. <laughs> a bit of, made it more fun for the audience. But we do uh, now know a great deal about Matt, and so we're glad to have him as one of our Toastmasters.